if that was loud. Um, I kind of touched my mic on accident. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to another stream. My name's Pixel, and today we're going to be meeting Madam Ping in Genshin Impact. We're doing the Teapot quest, and we're doing it um, part one. I am very sorry for anyone who wanted me to play Bed not Bedrock, um, Bed Wars today. Um, I'll reschedule that for another time. I think I'll do a Bed Wars stream on Tuesday. So, yeah. Hello, hello. Hi, Fantasy. Ban... Te Ban tasty. <laughs> I, I just learned that your... I just learned that your username's not Fantasy. <laughs> okay. Hi, welcome to the stream. I didn't do my normal um starting soon screen today because I couldn't mute the music for the intro. Uh let me reload my gosh. One sec chat. That volume. How's everyone's day going? Uh, let's see. I do have to post on my Twitter, I just realized. Uh, so many, so many, yes. <laughs> okay. I took a bunch of final deaths because I changed my sensitivity. Oh no, is that, is that bad? I'm guessing yes. Oh yeah, final deaths. Oh, are you talking about Bed Wars? Is it Bed Wars? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was confused because I thought it was like a different game. Yeah, I know. Most of the time it's like 10 seconds. I'm not sure how delayed it is right now, though. Hopefully it's not over 10 seconds. I think once it was delayed by 10 minutes, and that was insane. I hated it. Um, Let me just post this quickly. Yeah, I think it was because I was having bad internet issues that day. Who knows? Okay. And that is tweeted. Now, let's get on into the game. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I love doing these Genshin streams. Cause it gives me time to like talk to you guys, but it's also like fun because I've recently gotten into this game. Most of the time, I play Minecraft in the past for my streams, but now it's like mostly this game. Ah, children, come, come! <laughs> You've arrived at just the right moment. I've been looking for you. If you're wondering why I had to cancel today's Java stream, it's because of this. I stood in such a horrible spot that I got stuck in this dialogue and I didn't want to start it until I streamed it. So I had to do it today um, because I'm not missing out on free currency, okay? You get $60 on this game every single day. We're just logging on. <laughs> well, I saw the Discord announcement. Oh, thanks. Most of the time people don't look at that actually, so it's nice that someone does. Oh, what is it, Granny? Need any help? Hi, Paimon. Oh no, no. You've done so much for Leo Harbor already. I could hardly ask for more. Um, can you tell me if my audio's okay? Like if it's too loud? Quiet. Or if the game's audio is too loud or quiet. It's good? Okay. Good to know. In 
fact, my old friends and I have been putting our heads together to think of what sort of gift we might give you in return. Oh! Wait, we're receiving something now. <laughs> That's Pog. A gift? For Paimon? You're too kind. <laughs> oh, child. You are so very modest. Uncommonly so, even. But you mustn't decline this gift. I simply won't allow it. Okay, then. When you traversed my old teapot in search of the cleansing bell, I heard your little friend mention that you often camp out in the wilds. That is true. We don't have a home. Oh, wait, there's a silly around. <laughs> that simply won't do. Especially since I imagine you still have a very long journey ahead of you. Fortunately, I have not yet grown so old as to see my subspace creation abilities atrophy. A subspace creation abil- okay. What is a subspace creation? Oh, did my friends never mention that to you? Well then. It is a blessing we old folks once received from Rex Lapis. Part of our illumination, if you will. Um. <laughs> I know that. I know. Honestly, I don't have a problem with swearing as long as it's not used insult in like an insulting way. Although, come to think of it, Every time I play Bed Wars and someone knocks me into the void like a coward, I do swear at them. Because they're a coward. Anyway. I will not go into too much detail, but subspace creation is the ability to create a small, autonomous pocket world. Oh. So we get to make a universe now. The teapot that you entered previously was a little trinket created using that ability. A trinket, you say? So, in the eyes of an Adeptus, creating a magic teapot world is just child's play, huh? My god, the graphics are horrible. It's not even loading in! <laughs> okay. I mean, at least it's loaded in. Indeed, the teapot is nothing to boast of. One such as myself must depart from this realm to create a world of one's own. Rex Lapis, on the other hand, moved mountains and seas. That is what one might call an exercise of true power. Uh, but that's enough nostalgia for now. The gift that I have prepared for you just requires a few final materials to add the finishing touch. What are the missing materials? I can help you with them. Second one. That's right! Finding stuff's what we're good at, after all! I... I agree with Paimon for one. Oh, settle down now, children. There's no need for you to go running hither and thither. I have already found a fleet-footed youngster to prepare what I need. What's more, I doubt that you would know how to find the materials I am searching for. Some of them are very rare indeed these days. And what are those I if <laughs> And what are those if I might ask? I well, for starters, I require some shimmer soil from the banks of Dihua Marsh. Back in the day, it could only be found where the glazed lilies thrived most profusely. You would have to dig downward, following the roots of the glazed lilies. And, if you were lucky enough, you just might find a small patch of shimmer soil there. <sighs> But almost no one has been able to find Shimmer Soil in this manner since Dihua Marsh came to be the way it is today. Oh. Even more difficult to find is Smaragdus Jadeite, which must be chiseled from the rock of the chasm. Or 
So it used to be. Ever since the Blackcliff Forge opened for business, they've slowly but surely stripped the mines all but completely bare of it. In any case, Maragdus Jadeite is an adept eye treasure, and the adeptal power within is not something that most humans can withstand. Extended contact with it is, in fact, harmful to humans. Okay, then. Ah, goodness knows that that child will succeed in finding these items. Who's this child? Well, since you're an Adeptus, Granny, the person you asked for help, they must be an Adeptus too, right? I doubt it. Hmm, yes. I suppose she does count as an Adeptus. I know who she's talking about because I have seen someone play this quest. But how? You'll you'll see. How come there are so many adepti in Leo Harbor? We seem to bump into them all the time. Feels like even when you go out to eat, you could be sitting next to an adeptus and never even know it. Paimon's mouth just stopped me. Okay. <laughs> Maybe so. Who can say? A fair few of my old friends are rather fond of mundane mortal life, after all. I'm back, Granny. Yanfei! Oh, I don't believe we've met. Ah, allow me to do the honors. This child here is Yanfei. <laughs> She's the one helping run some errands for me. Yanfei? I believe you've already heard of the Traveler and her traveling companion. Hi, Yanfei. It was your birthday a few days ago. I don't know which day, though. Of course, who hasn't? Much has been written about you in the Millilith's records. I've only been here for so How is that possible? Okay. You became one of Liyue's most wanted after the Millilith marked you as a suspect following the incident at the Rite of Dissension. After which, you fought off the Millilith at Julian Karst and made contact with the Fatui. Okay, then. So we're a want we're wanted now. <laughs> I forgot about that part. Yeah, sneaking out of um. Yeah. Before finally defeating an ancient god together with Granny and her associates, and subsequently being cleared of any and all suspicion by the Chising. <sighs> what a shame. What a shame. <laughs> what? Is that a good thing? A shame that we didn't meet sooner. Okay, then. If we had, well, I can't say that I would have been able to clear you of suspicion immediately, but it certainly would have been less, uh, embarrassing for you. Yeah, so, backstory- the backstory is basically Yanfei's a lord. How does that make her an adeptus? I don't know. Allow me to introduce myself once more. I'm Yenfei, a legal advisor. Got a legal problem? You can come right to me. Oh, yes. Here's my business card. You'll find it has my contact details and office address. Keep it handy. If you have an urgent issue, just leave me a note at this address. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention. I offer a very generous discount for first-time customers. See, this is why Leo is the city of contracts. And also the city of literally everyone that has businesses. All right, Yanfei, all right. Let's get to the business at hand. I do not think these two are in any dire need of legal assistance at the moment. I mean, maybe in the future if I ever have to break into another cathedral, but yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> You'll have to excuse Yanfei. She's always been like this. Ever the talkative one when it comes to her own affairs. Are you really an adept? I'm always gonna ask the same question. You seem really different from the ones we've met before. An adeptus? Uh, I guess. Kinda. My old man said he was one anyway. Oh. Does that count? He mentioned that he once campaigned with Rex Lapis for a long old time, and then after that was all over, he went back and married my mom. Okay. 
But who is it? They had me, and once I was all grown up, the two of them upped and left on a journey, leaving me with Granny here. Okay, that explains why I don't know this character. Well, that's a bit casual for an adeptus. Aren't you guys supposed to sign solemn contracts to protect Leo at Harbor and all that stuff? What do you mean he just went back to get married? Well, my dad did say that he'd talked it through with Rex Lapis and that he was fine with it. He even contributed towards the wedding gift, apparently. Oh. Anyway, let's not dwell on that too much. So, Granny, I've gotten a hold of most of the stuff you asked for, except for Smaragdus Jadeite. I couldn't find any at all. Chasm's been sealed off, and there's just no way in. Couldn't secure any documentation either. <sighs> Looks like the Ministry of Civil Affairs is serious about keeping it strictly locked down. Is that so? Hmm. But Smaragdus Jadeite is really rather essential. Yenfei, are you sure you can't find some other way? They have helped Lyra greatly, after all. It is only right that they are duly rewarded. I mean... Yes, we may have killed a creature that was about to wipe out the entirety of Lyra away, but... Okay, yeah, I guess we did help them a lot. I know, Granny, you've told me a thousand times already. Well, the chasm's definitely a no-go. But there's still a chance we can figure out some alternative means of procurement. Hmm. Hold on a moment. Let me have a look. <laughs> Wait, she just like... <laughs> she just made it... She created a book, like, in there. <laughs> Wait, how did she do that? Oh, that's a really thick book. What kind of things do you write in there? Commercial consultancy. Or, or, Snezhnaya. <laughs> ah, found him. Russell. A Snezhnaya merchant who once came to me with some legal queries on certain articles in the legal codices. If my memory serves, all of them had to do with rare ores. He mentioned that he was considering acquiring some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins and wanted to know if there were any legal ramifications that he should be aware of said he was planning to sell them in Snezhnaya. You're gonna take the rarest, like, one of the rarest ores, and you're gonna make them into fucking hairpins. Excuse me. Why? What's the point in that? Okay. So, I guess I'll go look for him. With any luck, he'll have gotten his hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite, or might have an idea of where we can find some. Oh, you wanna join me? I suppose that's no problem, but it's best if you just stand by and watch. Try to get involved, you'll only risk placing yourself in legal jeopardy. Okay, then. Wow. Adept is imploring us to avoid incurring legal liability. That's a first for sure. But best we be a little more careful than usual while we're with her. Talk to Crossel. That's the Talk to come home. Navigate. <laughs> Jump off. And I forgot that I logged off yesterday with like a hundred and fifty in HP. I'm on really saying we should be more careful. They do nothing over other than talk and float. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of which, how did Paimon almost drown if she can fucking fly? Like I should be the one here that's fucking drowning. Hello, Mr. Crossel. How's business been? Oh, good, very good. All thanks to your advice, Miss Yanfei. What brings you here today? You're too kind. I was simply doing my job. Now, I believe that the last time we met, you mentioned that you were looking to source some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins. 
Have there been any further developments on this front? See, Paimon has. Um, well, yes, as a matter of fact, uh, in the end, I did acquire a small piece of Smaragdus Jadeite and had it fashioned into a pair of hairpins. You dumb motherfucker, why would you do that? Okay, you see, Paimon has less brain cells. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Miss Yanfei, might I presume that you have an interest in the hairpins? I must apologize, I've already rented them out to a lady named Zhe Xiao. If you'd like to inspect them, you may have to wait quite some time. Wait, isn't Smaragdus Jadeite really rare? Aren't you worried about the hairpins getting damaged or lost while they're being rented out? Aren't you worried for the fact that- Why are you making them into hairpins and why the f are you renting the- No, I'm not worried in the slightest because I signed a contract with Ms. Zhu Chiao before renting them to her. Uh, and this is how you know Leo is the city of con- The contract makes it quite clear that if she loses or damages the item in question, she must compensate me for its full original value. How much money is that? Oh. In return, I included a clause that guarantees the Smaragdus Jadeite is genuine, with a penalty of ten times the item's value payable by me to Miss Jichiao in the event that it is shown to be a fake. No ambiguities here. No amb ambiguities. <laughs> no ambiguities there. I don't know how to say that word. Ever. I guess that's... Guaranteed genuine, with ten times the value payable if this claim is shown to be false. Yes, these terms are very clear indeed. Of course. This way, both the client and I have the assurance we need. To ensure fairness, each of us has retained an original copy of the contract. In that case, might you know where Ms. Xiao lives? We'd like to pay her a visit and have a look at the hairpins. Oh, of course. She wrote her address down when we signed our contract. Here, I'll mark it on your map for you. Okay, Crossel. Thanks a lot, Mr. Crossel. We'll be off now. Watch as this dude scams her. So, we're going this way. Look at my map chat. Climb this building. Oh, I see it. Oh, whatever shall I do? Excuse me, are you? Uh, why does Genshin have so many hard to pronounce names? G Shell? <laughs> G Shell? <laughs> okay, G Shell. Yes, that's me. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do, Miss Your Chow? We understand from Mr. Crossell that you recently rented a pair of hairpins from him. My associates and I are very interested in them. Would you mind letting us take a look at them? The hairpins? I can't lend them to you right now. I... I've lost them. Well, uh, good luck with that one, Seashell. <laughs> good luck with that one. I don't know how it could have happened. I always kept them right by my side, and I hadn't even worn them yet. I spent so much money on them. If I have to pay their original value... <laughs> There's no way I could come up with that amount of money on such short notice. Well, why did you need them in the first place? I... My family is in the ore business, too. But business has been suffering ever since the chasm was sealed off. Okay. We now have a backlog of paid-up orders just sitting around. So we've been having to purchase some stock from other ore merchants to complete them. A big banquet is coming up in a few days, and several ore merchants I know of will be there. 
We need this opportunity to mingle and discuss prices. That's what the hairpins were for, to... Well, to keep up appearances. I can't have them looking down on me. Okay. This is all about cause you... But now that I've lost the hairpins, what will I do? Well, it's either you pay ten times the amount you paid for the hairpins, or we figure out if this dude just scammed you. Ah, why does Paimon have a sudden strong sense of deja vu? Maybe because say we can help. <laughs> Would you really? I sent a commission to the Adventurers Guild, but I haven't heard anything back from them yet. Guild. Hold on. Don't run off looking for the hairpins just yet. Miss Zhou Chao, would you let me have a look at the rental contract you signed? Huh? Well, I mean, sure, I have it right here. Here you are. Let me see. Hmm. That's right! Yanzi said she's a legal advisor, didn't she? Maybe she can help Zhu Chao somehow. Zhu... Zhu... Zhu Chao. <laughs> A chow. I think that's how it's... That would be a little unfair to cross all. True. So surely there must be a win-win solution. Must be. Or we prove cross all wrong. Right. I finished reading the contract. The terms are very clear, and they do indeed stipulate that you must pay Mr. Crossell the original value of the hairpins as compensation for the loss. Furthermore, the contract also expressly states that the amount of compensation must take current market prices into account. And given the rarity of Smaragdus Jadeite, I fear that the final amount of compensation may end up being significantly higher as a result. Oh, this... <laughs> well, Zer Chow? Uh... Be ready to be broke. <laughs> oh... The guy in the background looks like he was put there for no reason. <laughs> yeah, just staring at the sea. S sitting there. Even higher. Oh no. Uh-oh. This child looks like she's about to faint. Is that really what people look like when they're about to faint? Okay. However, all of this is assuming that it is indeed genuine Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid into the hairpins. True. But you really have to pause before saying that part? Anyway, the hairpins are lost, so how exactly would we be able to find out if the Jadeite is genuine or not? Whichever way you look at it, we've got to start by finding those hairpins. Uh. Except that if we found the hairpins, there'd no longer be any need to check whether the Jadeite is genuine, would there? True. Uh... Seems right. Please. Please, I... Don't trouble yourselves over this. The fact is, I lost the item, and I should pay compensation for my contract. It's such a huge sum of money, though. However much it is, I will have to pay it. My family are merchants, after all. It's vital that we keep our word and respect our contracts. Now that it's come to this, I really shouldn't keep Crossel in the dark any longer. I'll go and inform him of the issue, and then... negotiate the amount of compensation. Yes, legally speaking, it seems this is the most sensible course of action. But before that, I have some questions about the hairpins. So hold on a moment, Monsieur Chow. When you first touched the hairpins, what did you feel? What did I feel? Well, I remember that the gemstones set into the pins were perfectly smooth to the touch, like the finest quality jade. Wait, isn't it like, isn't it like you can't even touch it? Like mere mortals can't touch it because it's like only for adeptus? I don't know. My family has seen much jade pass through its hands in the past, so I am quite certain of my judgment in this matter. Hmm. Smooth to the touch. Finest quality jade. Is something the matter? No, it's nothing. I just need to re-examine a few things. Let's head over to Mr. Crossel's.
I hate how my character is at like 150 HP right now. Hold on. Hold on, I need to fix this. I hate this so much. It bothers me. It's like, I run into one Hillotril, I'm basically done for. They do a thousand damage. Okay. Where is Statue of the Seven. Thank you. Uh, before we go... Okay, let's go back. I think if we have free time, I might try to kill the child again, just... And then again, he's not as bad as ah, the other Miss guy. Yanfei, you've returned. With Miss Jichiao and Toe, too, I see. How are the hairpins? I trust you're quite satisfied with them? <laughs> About that. Uh-oh. You lost them? Are you serious? Do you have any idea how expensive they were? Oh, she's in trouble now. Sorry, I'm sorry. Truly, I am. We'll pay the compensation as per our contract. We last Mora. Mora? <laughs> Do you have any idea what I had to go through to get my hands on that Smaragdus Jadeite? I... I just don't... <sighs> forget it. Talking won't bring them back. Since Miss Yanfei is here, I suppose we can just have her estimate the amount that needs to be paid. No problem. But before I can give an official estimate, I'll need to do a little market research. Ah, yes. And if I may just confirm again... It was, in fact, genuine Smaragdus Jadeite inlaid into the hairpins, correct? Of course! Genuine article guaranteed, or I pay back ten times the value. All right, okay. understood. I'll conduct some market research, and once I'm back, I'll provide an official assessment of the sum owed by Mr. Chow in compensation. Please wait here, Mr. Crossel. Thank you very much. <laughs> How could she lose my hairpins? She'd better pay every last mora that they're worth. I mean, if you liked the hairpins so much, Crossel, why don't you just, like, I don't know, not rent it? What the fuck is he doing? Looks like I'll have to find some way to raise that money. Please wait, Mr. Chow. I have something to discuss with you. It's not convenient to speak here, so let's find somewhere that we can sit and talk in more detail. You, sir, suck. I missed. What? Okay. Try again. How is it? Okay. Oh my god. Go. So, where we first met Zhang Li. That's a problem. Don't fly away, don't fly- uh. Damn it. There we go. Ah, I just jumped into the water. Oh no. Miss Yenfei, <laughs> what is this about? Are you- Are you here to tell me you to go? I fell into the water. <laughs> and, okay. No. What I wanted to talk about is- there is a chance that the Orin laid on those hairpins may not be Smaragdus Jadeite after all. Not Smaragdus Jadeite, really. What do you mean? Are you implying that you already sneaked off and found them? Obviously not. I'm no adventurer, let alone a member of the guild. I don't run thankless, time-consuming errands for a living. Let's just <laughs> okay. say I made some deductions. Thanks for the insult. 
I don't know if Granny told you this, but Smaragdus Jadeite is found deep underground and contains very concentrated elemental energy. Mere mortals come into contact with it. Well, they'll be sick in the best case. And in the worst case, they could even experience a dramatic change of personality. It most certainly would not be smooth to the touch. Mr. Chow, did you at any time feel unwell while the hairpins were in your possession? No, not at all. I felt perfectly fine the whole time. Not even the slightest bit unwell. I didn't feel anything special at all, in fact. Hmm. Now that is strange. I noticed earlier that there were elemental traces in Mr. Crossell's vicinity. Oh no. If I have deduced correctly, he may still have the Smaragdus Jadeite in his possession. That's the case. We should go confront him right now and expose his dirty scam right to his face! Okay. Absolutely not. If we were to confront him now, there's no way he would admit to it. Eventually, he would find some argument to compel us to leave. And then, he'd throw the Smaragdus Jadeite into the sea the moment we were gone. After that, he would simply insist that Mr. Chow pay up per the contract. He would lose nothing. Meanwhile, we would have to look under every stone in Liyue, hoping and praying that the hairpins do actually still exist somewhere in this world. A very vivid description. So vivid that Paimon thinks it might be experience talking. Oh, it certainly is. I've seen my fair share of situations like this, and brute force methods are certainly one way of resolving them. Fortunately, I have far more elegant solutions at my disposal. I'll share them with you in due course. Well then, since you're so experienced in dealing with problems like this, perhaps you could help me, Miss Yunfei. Oh, that won't be a problem. But first, Mr. Chow, can I ask you to please sign this contract? <laughs> It's the city of contracts, I mean. How are we supposed to be surprised? Huh? Does there have to be a contract for everything? I don't can't even keep track. If I had one more for every time I hear the word contract. <laughs> Feels like Yante is even more concerned with them than a certain someone else we know. Zhongli? These are my formal terms of engagement. Everything prior to now has just been pro bono advice. But for me to investigate any further, I require a written contract. Any work commissioned but not bound by a contract cannot be relied upon. I understand. Then I will be glad to place this matter into your capable hands if you will take it, Miss Yunfei. No problem. Just sign here. I'll sign too. Okay. Now write your address here. <laughs> Paimon looks well. so confused. <laughs> She's just like, what the fuck? And I'll also need your signatures on pages 5, 7, and on the very last page. Finally, if you could just use this ink pad to make a handprint over here. <sighs> Contract has so many pages! Paimon's all out of brain juice again. Paimon, you're just dumb. Okay? Such an art. Alright, got to do it. My fees are the same as always, and they're written in the contract. Have a look through, and let me know if you have any questions. I've had a read through. Everything checks out. Well then, here's your copy of the contract. I will retain the other copy. My only question is, when did she have a time? When did she have the time to make a nine-paged contract? If we were with them. Weird. Well. Need me to do anything? Not for now, no. Despite how intractable this problem might sound, it will actually be quite straightforward to resolve, once we've got some things squared away. <laughs> I'm on never has brain juice because they don't have a brain. They just pulled it out of <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I guess we are talking about a fictional universe that literally can create meteors from the sky out of nowhere. And a person that can turn into water when they run. So yeah, I guess I guess that makes sense. This isn't really the most 
non-fictional. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't believe you have been part of an investigation like this before. In which case, hopefully this should be quite the experience. Okay. Miss Yunfei, I have to ask. Why are you helping me? Because, as it happens, I'm currently trying to acquire some Smaragdus Jadeite myself. I noticed strong traces of geo energy around Mr. Crossel, so perhaps he has, in fact, secured some. Whether he actually made it into an item of jewelry or not is a separate matter, but either way, it's a lead. As long as we follow it, who knows? We might just be able to get our hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite. Also, the idea of someone abusing the law to their advantage, I won't stand for it. But again, let's not dwell on this. Let's go to... Hmm. Where can we find someone who processes ore? Ah, I've got it. Let's pay a visit to Chateau, the boss of the Jade Mystery. He's a professional when it comes to working with stone and ore. If Mr. Crossel had his ore worked on at all, I think this guy's Chateau would Chateau. undoubtedly have been his first choice. Yep, there's Chateau. <laughs> Just chilling in the back. Telling everyone, hey, ore refinements. Hey, shito. We need to know things. <laughs> Shit tell. Yes. Why, hello there, honored customers. Welcome to. Th oh! I it's, it's you, Miss Yenfei. Is. Is, is something the matter? Shit ow. <laughs> Shit ow. Surely not more spurious claims that that my jade betting is rigged and, and no one can ever win? Oh, I swear on all that is sacred. No, nothing of the sort. Has a Snezh 9 merchant named Crossel enlisted your ore processing services recently by any chance? A Snezhnayan merchant named Krosel, you say? I do remember that. He brought me a piece of ore, claiming that it was Smaragdus Jadeite. That was the first time I'd ever encountered it, so I had no way of telling if it was really Smaragdus Jadeite or not. But if a customer insists, far be it from me to contradict them. He was quite generous with his money, too, so I didn't give it too much thought. I processed the ore as per his request. Hmm. Do you have any leftover debris from your work on it? Why, yes. It was my first time encountering this ore, after all, so I kept a few loose shavings to study myself later. That's and called a few- there, in fact. That's called a few loose shavings? So, that's a lot. Thank you, sir. We'll take a look at them. If my eyes don't deceive me, cross sections and patterning suggest that these are Smaragdus nephrite shavings. Smaragdus nephrite? Yes. It's not particularly rare, nor is it especially valuable. It's used to make jewelry all the time. I've heard it said that Smaragdus nephrite is in fact the outer layer of Smaragdus jadeite, though no one's ever proven it. Oh, shit, tells just back to trying to get more customers than just us. <laughs> it's funny. A thin layer of separation, huh? If you must see for yourself, try examining these shavings for traces of elemental energy. Smaragdus nephrite is an entirely ordinary ore, containing no elemental energy whatsoever. That's so! Well, we might as well give elemental scythe a shot. Okay, then. So, did you find anything? Absolutely. <laughs> I thought he was sweating at the fly. <laughs> I guess it- <laughs> I guess he- I guess it looks like that. So they really are different. But wait, how come Jitao was able to tell what it was just by looking at the shards? That's pretty awesome. Yeah, Paimon, but like- Compared to Zhongli, who can literally look at a rock and say, 
This is a rock that you found in a volcanic island that has crystals inside that's merely light blue. Except the thing is, you didn't cut open the rock, you wouldn't have known there was crystals inside, right? It's just strongly. There's nothing special to it. It just so happens that I've come across a great many of these in my time. Why couldn't shit tell tell them apart? These two stones actually look very similar. Someone without a deep understanding of them would find it very difficult to tell them apart. There may be only a subtle difference for the casual viewer, but that translates to an astronomical difference in terms of the market price. And, I'm sure, a significant difference in the cost of having them carved into shape. Alright, let's focus up. We're going off on a tangent. But, never mind, Shirto. Why would Mr. Crossell... I thought you were going to say, name here, can I just look at a rock and say, this is a rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, okay, Zhang Li is basically the Geo Archon. He basically created this entire city by himself. So I'm not surprised he knows a lot of the ores. Unusual actions have unusual reasons behind them. Let's take some of these shavings back to Chateau. They all say his name differently. Fragdus <laughs> Nephrite Fragment. I do not. Hello. Miss Yenfei? Might I be so bold as to inquire? Um. If you could just confirm for me once more, sir. Mr. Crossell did indeed claim that the ore he brought to your store was, in fact, Smaragdus Jadeite, did he not? Uh, yes, that's right. I still have a record of the job with me, in fact. Um, here. It says quite clearly, one chunk Smaragdus Jadeite, uncut. Then I have no further questions. But could I borrow the processing record and these stone shavings? Of course. But might I ask why you need them? Oh, I have my reasons. Ah, yes. Please sign here on this affidavit. This document shall serve as signed proof that these stone shavings originated from the, uh, four that Mr. Crossell brought to your store. Please read it carefully. Hmm, yes, I see, I see. <laughs> Forgive me for asking again, Miss Yanfei, but... Might I know the nature of the incident on this occasion? I wouldn't say there's been an incident. Just a minor issue. Thank you, sir. I'll take these with me. This hard evidence to back us up? Crossel will dare try to deny what he did! No, he will still. He'll do anything to get money. On the contrary, this is far from sufficient to build a case. We need to find something a little more compelling. If you want to make jewelry, you need a professional jewelsmith. Let me think. And creates a book from midair again. <laughs> I don't know. I think it might just be the game right now. Jewelry. Jewelry. Hmm. Nope. Aha! Got it! Zinxie. She often Zinxie. helps people to find a jewelsmith. Let's go pay her a visit. Finally. Like a name that's actually easier to say. Sing -see. Well, that was quick. How come you know so many people? Because lots of people come to me for legal advice every day. As you know, Liyue Harbor is the city of contracts. <laughs> and contracts, well, I should say laws, are very important to us. Yes. But the amendments made by the Tianxuan to our laws are unnecessarily complicated. How can I put this? It just seems like they're hard to understand and impossible to finish. As such, legal advisors like myself provide quite the popular service indeed. So you help them make sense of the law. But didn't you say that it's hard to understand and impossible to finish? Yes, well, that's no obstacle because I've memorized all the legal codices. Literally. That was all. You memorized them? <laughs> you 
sound surprised. Knowing the law inside out is a legal advisor's bread and butter, you know? Is this how adept I become? Adept at everything? Oh, this has nothing to do with being an adeptus. I just like reading things. Again, with that casual tone. Well, that's that then. Let's go look for Sing C. Sing C. Yes. Okay, where is Sing? On the map is. Oh wait, this is the guy that I go to to get money. It is. Hey, I. No, it's not. Wrong person. It is. Hey, I buy money off you. Oh, Miss Yenfei, it's you. Has something happened? Did the client from last time? Uh... The fact that none of the NPCs listen to what you're talking about, yeah. Have no further trouble from then on? Yes, of course. I'm just here to ask you a few questions. Has a merchant by the name of Crossel asked you to put him in contact with a jewelsmith recently? Crossel? Yes, I remember him. He's a merchant from Snezhnaya, no? Yeah, he came to me with a chunk of something he called Smaragdus Jadeite. The design of the hairpins that he gave me was quite intricate, so it took me some work to find someone who was up to the job. Eventually, I found an older jewelsmith who made them exactly according to his specifications. This order was on hold for a very long time, and only completed quite recently, which is why I remember it so well. Doesn't seem like there's any evidence to be found here. Miss Inksy, I'd like for you to confirm for me once more. When Mr. Crossell commissioned you to find him a jewel smith, did he or did he not assert that the material he presented to you that day was called Smaragdus Jadeite? Yes, I'm sure of it. The hairpins were made using many expensive materials, and the asking price was quite high, so we had to put this transaction on record with the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Mr. Crossell wasn't very familiar with the necessary procedures, so I filed it on his behalf. I also kept a copy for my own records. See for yourself. The item is called Smaragdus Jadeite Twin Phoenix Pins. Inlaid gemstone is recorded as Smaragdus Jadeite. The document even has the official seal of the Ministry on it. Thank you, Singsi. Now, could you let me borrow this document? Sure. It isn't serving much purpose here, anyway. I take it, then, that there's been some more trouble? Nothing you need to worry about. Just a minor issue. I'll return your document as soon as I'm done with it. Thanks again. Why is everyone's first reaction always to assume someone or something is in trouble? Must be the nature of legal consultants. Hmm. I believe we have almost all the evidence we need. We just need to make one last trip. Let's go to Boo Boo Pharmacy to speak with Dr. Baiju. Dr. Baiju! Oh, he's a nice fellow. We get to see Chi Chi. A weirdo with the snake around his neck? What do you want to speak to him for? Because only he can provide an authoritative statement confirming that Smaragdus Jadeite is harmful to the human body. Ah. True. Once we have this final piece of evidence in our hands, we can wrap this case up. <gasps> oh, dang it. I thought that poster was like what they put up for things. Talk to Baizu. Boo Boo Pharmacy. Yay. I like Boo Boo Pharmacy. It's quite cool. First time you get to meet Chi Chi, and she asks you to hunt a cocoa goat. And there's no such thing as a cocoa goat. Unless you count. On you, but on you is just a goat and he one. I buy zoo, not gonna step in yet. Please show me my my to what do I owe the pleasure? Though I'm afraid that if you're looking for our little Chi Chi, she's out gathering herbs. Dang it. 
I'll look for Chi Chi another day. And if it isn't Miss Yenfei as well, now that's an even rarer honor. What business brings you here, might I inquire? Some charlatans peddling ineffectual medicines again, no doubt? No, no. I'm here this time to ask if you're familiar with Smaragdus Jadeite. Smaragdus Jadeite? Why, yes, there is some information about it included in the sixth commentary on the Seven Mountain Treatises. The Seven Mountain Treatises states that this substance springs forth from stone marrow within the mountains and will bring disaster to any mere mortals who touch it. It is abundant in elemental energy, so if someone without a vision is in contact with it for a prolonged period, best case scenario, they fall ill. Worst case scenario, they'll suffer great changes in personality and their illness will only ever get worse. So the granny was right. I mean, figured the granny was a leptus, so. Anyway, I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to chit chat. Knowing you, Yenfei, and given the specific nature of your question, I suppose that you're about to ask me to write an official affidavit attesting to the pharmaceutical peculiarities of Smaragdus Jadeite? That is indeed the case. If you would be so kind, Dr. Baiju. No trouble at all. It's just a single document. Won't take me a moment. I would mention, though, that you are not the only one who's developed a curiosity for Smaragdus Jadeite. A Snezhnayan merchant came to ask me about it not long ago. Oh yeah, Crossel. Yeah, he's a bitch. Just ignore. But after I gave him my reply, his expression shifted to one of remarkable disappointment. I wonder, Miss Yenfei, if your pressing business might be related to the <laughs> Snezhnayan merchant? Ah, you needn't concern yourself about that, Dr. Baiju. Thank you for penning us that document. I'll make sure to compensate you in due course. What did it what did he give her the document? What? You're too kind. Take care now. They didn't even summon a document. They just they gave each other thin air and it's just like, yep, thanks for the document. <laughs> what? That Baiju guy is as weird as ever. That's just you, Paimon. Is this Paimon? Or does it feel like he was fishing for something back there? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Dr. Baiju's always been like that. Well, we have the evidence we need. I did Let's not think there was water. Yes, I have to climb a building to get over. Hey, bitch, we have evidence that you have... Is It's like this script for the SMP. It doesn't exist. Oh, God. Stop. I'm not good. Hey, Crossel, we know you've scammed a girl. Now pay up, bitch. I'm looking forward to the 10 million you have to pay. Need money. Miss Yanfei, have you finished your investigation? I trust you will now be in a position to assess the compensation due. Yes, you're the one paying. Yes, my investigation is indeed concluded. I can now provide a final figure for the amount payable. Wonderful. Well then, please, could you do the honors, Miss Yanfei? Of course. Ahem, <clears throat> according to the stipulations of the contract, Mr. Crossel. You must pay Mr. Chow ten times the original transaction price in Mora. Sure. Wait, what? <laughs> Me pay her? Surely there's been some kind of mistake, Miss Yanfei. Nope. You've been caught, bitch. Not at all. According to my investigations and the material evidence that we've gathered, the substance claimed to be Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid within the Smaragdus Jadeite twin phoenix pins that you rented out to Mr. Chow was, in fact, Smaragdus Nephrite. Now, the contract states very clearly that ten times the price shall be paid should the article not be genuine. Accordingly, you are liable for this sum, which is payable to Mr. Chow in Mora. Material evidence? What material evidence? 
Why, Miss Yanfei, you cannot frame me like this. Oh, you think that we framed you, bitch? Okay, look, we have like four documents. One signed one. Actually, three documents, all of them signed by actual people, bitch. So, uh, go to jail. I spent a huge sum to obtain that Sparagnus Jadeite, and yet you claim that the ore inlaid on the hairpins is somehow fake? I demand to see your evidence. And this is when Yanfei's work actually comes into use. Indeed. Only a testimony from an expert witness involved in the processing of the ore can serve as an authoritative assessment of whether it is genuine. Traveler, please produce the evidence in question. This is a processing record from the Jade Mystery, along with stone samples and an affidavit signed by the business owner, Chateau. Seriously? Even the boss there couldn't differentiate between Smaragdus Jadeite and Smaragdus Nephrite. How does this prove anything? In any case, Smaragdus Nephrite is the outer layer of Smaragdus Jadeite. So I had him cut away the Nephrite, he returned the valuable Jadeite core to me, and some Nephrite samples remain in the store. What am I missing exactly? Th that's an unsubstantiated belief. Well, your claim that my ore is fake is just as unsubstantiated. And we are here to talk about evidence, aren't we? Ugh. Looks like our first piece of evidence didn't convince him at all. Like he came prepared. What should we do next? Hard evidence. Something legally binding. We have just the thing. Show him, Traveler. Hard evidence. Binding. Wait, am I supposed to be choosing a good ones? Uh. Oh, come on. I meant the backup copy of the document from the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Sorry! The one we got from Sinksy of Mingxing Jewelry. Sorry! <laughs> this document proves that my hairpins are the real deal, doesn't it? This is the Ministry's seal, after all. It shows that the ore inlaid on the pins is indeed Smaragdus Jadeite. The second piece of evidence didn't work either. This guy's getting more belligerent by the second. The fuck is belligerent? What? I actually know that's more interested. Hmm. You know, you could be right. Perhaps the hairpins are the real deal after all. Yanfei? Of course I'm right. All the evidence shown supports my story. Well, hang on a moment now, because I do recall one final piece of evidence that we haven't revealed yet. Traveler, could you do the honors? What's this? Smaragdus Jadeite springs forth from Stone Marrow within the mountains and will bring disaster to any mere mortals who touch it. Sustained contact with Smaragdus Jadeite over a prolonged period will, in less serious cases, cause a mild malady, while in serious cases, the patient may suffer a dramatic change of personality and fall seriously ill. Mr. Crossell, were you aware of these peculiar properties of Smaragdus Jadeite? I... I had no idea. <laughs> oh, this is gone. No idea, you say? Hmm, I'd guessed as much. But for you to have rented out such a dangerous item, I'm afraid that this falls outside the scope of my work, but within that of the Ministry of Civil Affairs. However, I'm sure that the Ministry will be relatively lenient, considering that, as you say, you were ignorant of the danger you posed. Don't worry, Mr. Crossell. I will make sure that all the evidence presented here will be handed over to the Ministry. I trust that you'll give them your full cooperation in their investigations. What? Wait, wait! I... Oh, so you knew? Oh, dear, Mr. Crossell. But if you knew of Smaragdus Jadeite's dangerous properties beforehand, why would you... Huh? No, uh, I... <sighs> the hairpins aren't actually... Aren't actually inlaid with genuine Smaragdus Jadeite? Is that what you were about to say? You do understand, Mr. Crossell, that this means that you will have to pay Ms. Sir Chow ten times the original price in Mora? Yeah, bitch, it's your turn to be broke. Mr. Crossell, your answer, please. My client and I are waiting. I... 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 Yanfei's seriously intimidating right now. It's like she's a different person. Again, that's legal consistency for you. I admit it. I confess. The ore I had in laid on those hairpins was... was Smaragdus Nephrite. But I'm a victim in all of this, too. I invested a great deal of time and money into acquiring that small amount of Smaragdus Jadeite. 
in the hopes of turning it into a piece of jewelry that would fetch a fine price. But after receiving it and carrying it around for a few days, I started to feel extreme discomfort. I couldn't sleep a wink or eat a single bite. I... I was in a constant state of agitation, too. So then why did you lie? Like, bruh. I went to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get myself checked out, only to discover that this sort of stone cannot be worn as jewelry. But how could I let all that money go to waste? That's why I had another pair of hairpins made from Smaragdus Nephrite, which is almost indistinguishable from Smaragdus Jadeite. I kept the real Smaragdus Jadeite in a specially made box. I daren't touch it again. Oh, give it to us, Ben. I was worried that someone would see through it. Which is why I only dared to rent them out, not sell them. And then to top it all off, Did Chow lost the hairpins after I rented them out to her. So why did you charge Sing Chow such an exorbitant rental price? Exactly! If they weren't the real deal, why'd you make her pay so much? Hmm? I... I didn't want to either. But when I purchased that Smaragdus Jadeite, some of my business partners found out. I knew they'd be watching closely to see how much I could make off it. If word got out that I sold a pair of fake hairpins, then my days in this line of business would be over. Well, then you probably shouldn't have lied, bitch. Alright, let's cut the appeals phase right there. I fail to see what bearing any of this has on your transaction with my client. According to the contract, you must pay Mr. Chow ten times the original price in Mora, and that is final. Ten times. Rosal looks like he could faint any second. <laughs> You've said that two times today, Paimon. How does that look like he's fainting? It looks like he's scared for and about to get hit. <laughs> this is so weird. What the fuck? As for me, according to my contract with Mr. Chow, 20% of that sum will go to me. 20%? That's as much as I spent on that Smaragdus Jadeite! Ha! <laughs> um, there's no need. It's fine. You don't have to pay me that much, Mora. There's a contract. Even if the Smaragdus Jadeite on those hairpins was fake, I still bear responsibility for losing them. Legally or not, I think I owe some compensation for that. Ms. Juchow. However, Mr. Crossel, since you have no use for that chunk of Smaragdus Jadeite, why don't you give it to me instead? I'll consider us even. What? But I... All right, then. This cursed rock's brought me enough grief as it is. Miss Yenfei, I'll turn this Maragdus Jadeite over to you. I trust that it will suffice as remuneration? Well, um, that's not quite how the rules say this should go. But whatever. It'll do. Thanks so much for your help this time, Miss Yenfei. But when you have the time... I'll be sure to visit and express my thanks more appropriately. Oh, come on. No need to stand on ceremony. Now, if I may confirm this again, Mr. Chow, have you and Mr. Crossel come to an understanding? I think that's supposed to be your nose. Like, like the shadow. That. Hmm? Well, yes, I believe we have. Well then, that's good. Mr. Crossel, it seems that my client has no further claims against you. Is... is that so? That's good. That's good. Actually, Mr. Crossel, I'd like to talk business for a second if I may. I could see from the hairpins you produce that you're very skilled in jewelry design. My family, on the other hand, works in the ore business, and we have a fair stock of fine ores. If we could join forces, your jewelry designs and our choice ores, I think we could do some fine business between us. I, uh, let me think for a moment. <laughs> well, they're gonna talk business now. Well, that's that. And we've got the Smaragdus Jadeite that Granny wants too. All's well that ends well, eh? Yes, although there were some twists and turns along the way. Exactly. Usually when someone tells us they've lost something, end up searching all over the place for it. 
This time, you managed to solve the problem with just a big stack of documents. <laughs> Even though the solution didn't involve actually finding the hairpin. The right solution depends on your perspective on the problem. The objective of my client, Mr. Chow, was to reduce her liability to pay compensation. So, rather than looking high and low for some hairpins, proving that the rented item was nowhere near worth what the vendor had claimed it to be was the more efficient solution. I can't say I've ever met an Adeptus. An Adeptus? Speaking of, you took part in that battle, didn't you? In which case, you would have heard what Granny said. Liyue Harbor is now a city ruled by humans. Yep. The title of Adeptus means precious little to me compared to my job as a legal advisor. In any case, don't you think that the Liyue Harbor of today needs legal consultancy far more than it needs Adeptal powers? You know what's funny? Some people call Liyue Liyue. And this girl calls it Liyue. So which way is correct? I don't understand. Aimon can think of someone who would definitely disagree with your reasoning. I think there is more than just reason, Aimon. Well, since we got what we came for, it's time to pay Granny a visit. I bet she's been on tenterhooks for a while now. Adam Ping! We got the rock that makes people sick. What if you put some, like, if this was in real life? Oh god. Run up the stairs. You. Yeah, you made me wanted at some point, bitch. Hi, Madam Ping. Ah, you've returned. How did it go? Were you able to find the Smaragdus Jadeite? They were, thanks to Yanfei. Good, good. Then we have all the materials we need. If we're all set, Granny, I'll get going now. Got a ton of clients waiting for me back at the office. Good luck, Yanfei. Oh, you. All right, then. Go see to your business. Granny should be able to handle the rest. I'm off, then. Bye! Oh, yes, Traveler. Make sure you don't lose the business card I gave you. I've been looking into the laws of other nations as well. If you should ever bump into any trouble with the law, come find me directly. Regulars get discounts, too. Oh. Hey, then. Come now, child. Are you leaving or are you not? If you have no wish to leave, perhaps you'd like to help me clean my teapot. Hmm? At the start of the... Uh, at the start of the game, or the start of this quest, they gave us a business card with fair address and, like, phone number and shit. I don't know. <laughs> I'm leaving! I'm leaving! <laughs> Does not want to clean up that teapot. Understandable, I almost died in that teapot. <sighs> that child. Goodness knows where she learned to be so rambunctious. Her father was hardly so riotous or fond of talking nonsense back in the day when he stood beside Rex Lapis. A truly unique adeptus. Ah, <sighs> indeed she is. Liu has changed. And the Adepti must also learn to change. Uh, okay, maybe there wasn't a phone number, I don't know. Probably not an email either. <laughs> Probably just an address. Yanfei might be overly garrulous, but she is also the most intimately acquainted with the city among us all. Ah, uh, Liyue is not the same place I once knew. Granny. All right, then. Let us speak of this no more. Back on topic. I believe that I still owe you a little gift. Hi, Fantasty. Welcome back. Um, we're actually almost done with the quest, but after this I'm going to do some commissions and then we're going to go kill Child, I think. Again. Because I can. Oh, 
a pie I'm so excited! How is it made? And how long does it take? <laughs> it is but a single teapot. It shan't take long at all. Just wait here for a moment. Madame Ping begins to construct the gift. Oh! -ho! Ooh. There we go. This serenity pot is all yours now. It's the serenity pot. We get to make a universe of our own now. Ha <laughs> ha. Hold it firmly. If you were to drop it. Oh goodness. Who knows what might happen? Take these blueprints with you as well. You'll need them if you wish to make your teapot a little more lively inside. Thanks, Granny. Wait a minute, Granny. How exactly are we supposed to use this teapot? Oh, you needn't worry about that. I've already arranged for a certain little helper <gasps> to await you within this teapot. She will explain everything you need to know about it. I know who it is. It's not Yanfei, but it is something. Hey, Serena Teapot. Ugh. Quest objective is in your Serenity. Ooh, she gave us a lot. Your part of the quest. Oh, Teapot. Teapot's floating. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I don't know which one. Okay. Chat. Which one should I choose? Floating abode, Emerald Peak, or Cool Isle? I would rant. I would choose floating abode. I mean, there's floating islands. But there's also Emerald Peak. Emerald Peak looks cool. I wonder if I'm allowed to have all of them at some point. Okay, so we're choosing Emerald Peak then. Any last... anyone? Okay, I guess we'll go with what Black Fed said then. You wish to set the realm layout to Emerald Peak? Confirm. Whoa! <laughs> Your chair is bringing you down to hell. Mine, mine can't go up anymore. I don't know what I did to it. Wow! This teapot seems even bigger <gasps> than the Madame Ping's. Bird. Even a great big house in the middle. Floating too. bird. Floating bird. Huh? But there's just a whole load of nothing around it. <laughs> Get chiseling, Paimon. You could carve us a whole house out of this rock. I can't do that. Well, you're the one with the sword anyway. You do it. <laughs> I tried. It tried to kill you so many times. That's probably why. Here, let me try again. Literally, like it's broken. I can't even like. It doesn't go up. I don't know what I did. It's just stuck like at the lowest position right now. Kick it. so empty here apart from that house. Oh, wait a second. What is that? Floating bird. Hello. Hello, floating bird. Well, it seems that we have a visitor. Hello. It's a huge finch. I guess that's another word for it. <laughs> it's a floating finch. Excuse me, I am not a finch. I am a teapot spirit. Okay, it's a teapot and spirit. You may call me. Um, hang on a moment. What am I supposed to be called again? <laughs> call me. I suppose you may call me Tubby. Tubby! Hi, Tubby! You certainly looked apart. Oh, that's rude! So you're the little helper. Oh, uh, let me just kick my chair. Okay, I kicked it. It it did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Madam Ping? Oh, you must mean Ping. Yes, she did summon me here. She told me much about you. 
Tubby is a little chubby. Yeah. <sighs> you may leave all matters regarding the upkeep of this realm to me. Thank you, Tubby. Your journey may be far from over. But at least this way, you will not want for a comfortable place to sleep each night. So what's a teapot spirit exactly? Though it is the Adepti who create realms such as this, they generally do not have the time of day to attend to the banal matter of their maintenance. What? So Madame Ping's supposed to have a guy in their teapot cleaning up for her? Excuse me, I was the guy that had to clean up for her. There was spider webs everywhere. I was getting shot by spiders. Thus, we teapot spirits were created to help guard their realms and manage their affairs. So why didn't you help with Madame Ping's? You may consider me a butler, if you will. So why didn't you help with Madame Ping's? Now, allow me to explain this realm to you. Okay. Have you any blueprints on you? Specifically, blueprints with beautiful rooms, chairs, and the like. As long as you have a blueprint, you can refashion this realm however you please. Okay. Blueprints? Oh, that's right! Fanny handed us some when she gave us the teapot, didn't she? I have a lot of blueprints. Let's take them out and have a look. Yes, these are the blueprints I'm talking about. Go on, open them up. Just commit the image of the objects to memory and prepare the necessary materials. Then simply release the thought from your mind and the object in the blueprint shall appear within this teapot. What? Wow! Is that all it takes? Then we could build a whole city inside, couldn't we? Paimon, I don't have the building skills to do that. <laughs> I don't think I can. Mm, I doubt it. A golden-eyed adeptus explained this to me at some point in the past. He said that even though subspace creation is a product of adeptal power, even that has its limits. This world is not a true one, after all. It provides merely a moment of brief respite from the mortal realm, not a means of escaping it entirely. A golden-eyed adeptus? Simon wonders, who could that be? Not Zhongli. Zhongli's an archon. Not Zhao. Zhao has... Not any of the birds. The birds have their own thing. Or the Antlord guy. And not Madame Ping. Who the fuck is an Adeptus? Not Ching. Not Gon Yu. Oh. I hardly remember myself. What's more, I have never seen that Adeptus again since. That makes sense, then. Well, let's not dwell on that. Have a look around. Best you get accustomed to this realm. If there's anything you would like to ask, just look for me. After using the summoning... Okay. 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 Hey, so it's like a wandering trader, except without the llamas, and in a teapot. <laughs> this looks so. Aww. Place the first. Alert, press F7 to open. Uh. Got it. Got it. Got it. Ooh. Okay, let's put this. And that's a good mean. If change. 
Wow. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, this is so cute. There's like bridges connecting them all. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I love this. Wait, it's a merchant guy. Hello. Chubby. The one before you is known as Jade Seeker. <laughs> one travels far and wide, seeking not but to Her witness all Chubby. the treasures this world has to offer. Oh, so cool. What do you sell? Ah, encounters with fine treasures cannot be forced. This is something that only fate may decide. This is so cool. <gasps> I can get a pet! Oh, I can get a Shiva! That is so cute. Okay, bye, chubby. This is so cute. Oh. Okay. Um. Name. Oh. Enter the mansion. Okay. Okay. Flame. Process one. Okay. Oh, it's like those like circle archways. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I love this. I have to like design it. That's Pog. I am looking. This is. This seems fun. Many rooms. Well, yes. Oh, they're all empty. Also, like one. Oh, I'm. Fun. Hi, Tubby. What's up? Oh. Tubby, why have you stopped speaking? Okay. Should I be reading this chat? Like, should I be, like, reading this out loud? Before, this abode was in, in an incomplete embryonic state. Those whom you invited into it would only have been able to exit and enter together with you, rather than remain for long periods. Oh. But now, we'll take this realm dispatch and I have created for you and hold it and tightly now. What should I do next? Don't worry, you need only hold this dispatch and it it will draw some of your energy out and into it. Ah yes, I heard Ping mention that you have made friends in great many places as such. I suspect that were we to distribute one dispatch to each one of them, would be here making dispatches for a long time. Yes. As such, I have made some modifications to this dispatch. All you need to do is tap the palm of the person you'd like to invite lightly. With the dispatch and your energy signature remain on them, allowing them to enter and leave your realm with ease. Uh, it's almost like marking. Uh, well, sort of. But why do you have to put it so weirdly? I don't know. It's the only option I had to speak of. Ahem, uh -huh. well, here's the realm dispatch. Go forth and invite whoever. Please. Oh, Pog! Thanks, Tubby! Thank you! Okay. 
like the music. Hey, we got a normal intro. Uh, and we're going Ah, uh, and it's oh. oh, wait, I have a lot of them. What? Right into summer buds. Um, I had more. No, 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 no. I had more. I got a lot from um an event I did. Where'd it go? Wait, did it just delete itself? No! For God! Uh. Oh well. Oh, we've already... Hey, do you guys want to know something? I've saved up all of my Primo gems, right? Almost at 2,000! Yay! Most of the time I don't save my primal gems, so this is rare. I wanna around this now. Look at that! So cool! God. I am going to my time here. No, what's Hi, right, teapot. Time to go. This is so cool. Madam Ping, you're amazing. I can't even say that. <laughs> okay. Bye, Madam Ping. Okay, what's our next quest? So, the next Archon quest that we have to do... is Dainsleaf. And you know what that means, chat. We have to meet our brother. Okay. Let's quickly, um... do all my commissions, and then I'll log off. Although, I remember that, um, someone wanted, they wanted me to play Bedrock Edition after today. I'm not too... I'll attempt. Alright. Maybe I'll play off-camera. This doesn't, Bedrock Edition doesn't mean any, like, it's not really relevant to this stream. Hi Gavin, welcome to the stream, how's your day? Oh, come on, you're logging off? I'm not logging off. <laughs> yes, that is you. <laughs> okay, Laura. Yes, I do remember. It's been a day since. I'd like to see our cold experiment. You help me go. So I'm back? No problem. Okay. So we have to go to Dragon Spine. Got two to seven. Oh yeah, Gavin, you missed out. We finished the rest of the Archon quest yesterday. You have to watch the VOD. It was amazing. Like there was a monster and such, and I had to like, I had to, um, what was it? Did this? Wait. Flowers are gone? What? How? But yeah, Gavin, so now we have access to our own literal, like, literal world we can customize. It's amazing. I'm having so much fun with this. Okay, let's go quickly do up my commissions. And then I'll log on to Bedrock Edition. Because you guys have me- you guys wanted me to play. 
Hey! Bitch, no! No! I did not sign up for this. Oh, what the fuck? Retrieval complete. Okay, now we go back to Flora. You just not freeze to death first. Okay, Flora. I'll be able to VC also, so Pog champ. Hey, Pog. Okay, I'll join VC soon. I just have to finish my commissions and then I'll log on to. Should I do a separate stream? This is what I really wish I had to do. Did you know, chat? Okay, so I was playing Bed Wars today, and normally I choose duos because I can't survive solos. I chose solos for once. I got in the same Bed Wars lobby as a YouTuber. This person had 40k followers on Twitch. That was so cool. Hi. It's an instant noodle cracker. What? That's so cool. I'm okay for you. That's... Those are glasses cleaners. Yeah. Why? Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. I'll come up soon. <laughs> okay, she just went back upstairs. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, chat. My mom came in. Wanted me to try these um ramen crackers, I guess. So I know some of you guys call ramen. Okay, don't care, Flora. Give me primal gems. Thank you. Next, we have to go to Wolvendom. Oh well. Lynn's troubled. Talk to Lynn. I mean, if I have to kill a ruin guard, I mean, that's that, it's not. Oh, I do have to kill a ruin guard. Hey, hey there, bitch. Listen, if I can defeat a level 47 child, you're a piece of cake. No, my not good. Windblade. Nice and spicy. Let me leave you a verse. Okay. Honestly, at this point, support characters is all you need in life. Literally. Like, with support characters. You can literally do so much damage. Okay, the next one we have to kill a Hillatrill camp, and then... I don't know what the last one is. Maybe I have the storm or another hill trip camp. 
Hello, bear. I know you're chilling, you know, having a good day, but, um... No, there's a commission for me to kill you, so, uh... I, I kind of don't have a choice, you see. Goodbye. <laughs> I love doing that. It's so funny. Just, like, get sent away. Oh my god. You ran away from Gwoba, you f***ing coward. Die. I hope my internet's going to be good enough, but... Oh yeah, chat, did you guys enjoy, um, last time I did a co-op stream? I'm thinking of doing that again, so... It was fun. Like, we got to kill a crap ton of things. We got to kill a crap ton of things. <laughs> I don't know. I might focus on, um, for anyone that wants me to stream Roblox, um, I will say that I tried to open the launcher up today, and it's not even letting me in the game anymore. I don't know why. Okay, let's do our last commission. And then we'll talk to Catherine, get our 10 primal gems, and then we'll go kill Child again, because why not? Oh yeah, and it's also because I think Gavin didn't see it yet. Give me one year. I'm really. Oh, okay. Oh, what the fuck? That's a lot of stuff. And we go talk to Catherine, or, yeah, Catherine. Surprisingly, we're both called Catherine. You'd think they'd have a different name at once. Add Astro. Okay, um... Story quest, claim. Okay, so. Once we're done with these Archon quests, this is what we're based off of. Venti, Mona, Zhongli, Zhongli, Tartaglia, Child, Ganyu, Albedo, Zhao, Hu Tao, and Yula. When did Zhao have one? Okay, I didn't watch that one yet. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to those. We also have V's unlocked already. We have Jean unlocked. It's gonna be Pog chat. For now, let's go. Um, remaining attempts to claim treasure. What drop? Drops a lot of stuff, apparently. You will die today, child. I don't care. 
what you think. I don't care what you want. We will kill you. Fuck, he's level 60 now. You were level 40 last time! Why are you higher in level- okay. Well then, fuck. Uh... I guess we'll not do that. <laughs> I don't trust myself killing something that's level 60, chat. Oh! Okay, so now I can- Oh, I can see my Serenity Spot map now. That's so pog! Okay. First, get my Liyue reputation stuff, and then, yes, we will go and, um, play the Rock Edition. Hello? Nope. I want to see my reputation. Uh, well then, chat, um, we're gonna go move on to Bedrock Edition now. I'm not sure how long we're gonna stream Bedrock Edition, but we will. I'm not sure if I should stream it or if I should just play the game. Uh Okay. All tasks have been handed out. Ah, uh, wait, look at this. Look at that. That's such a cool picture. Honestly, like the game design, I love it. I love the game design. Anyway, um, because I can, um, I'm gonna say that we're not gonna stream Bedrock today. I'll save that for another day, um, most likely Monday. Okay, chat? Um, let's change to this. I'll log off of Genshin so I can actually play my own music. <laughs> Without much disturbance. Oh wait, I can't play my own music off Spotify. Oh, whatever. Yeah, thanks to everyone that came to today's stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much. We got to get our own Serena teapot. We got to meet Yanfei. It's amazing. Thanks for everyone that came to today's stream. We're slowly reaching our goal of an active chat. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. And go check out my socials, which is shown on the screen. Exclamation Discord, exclamation Twitter, exclamation YouTube, and exclamation VODs. I can quickly actually just do those. <laughs> it's just going to bring you to all those socials. I will say I'm not active on my YouTube right now, but maybe I will be in the future. And my VOD channel. My VOD channel, I post all of my Twitch VODs there, because Twitch VODs slowly get deleted. So, you kind of have to save them somewhere, right? Anyway, goodbye!